Hola, welcome to El Snido's Toy Company. Today we're going to ride at Blue Diamond Trail System, which is just outside Las Vegas, Nevada. Blue Diamond is another trail where I had no idea where I was going. On this one I had at least a map. But in the end, I still didn't know which was a good trail, which was a bad trail, which was an interesting trail, and which was more of a flat trail. This was filmed at the end of the season last year in the desert, and it was hot as hell. But I did learn one thing, two words, frozen, Gatorade. Yeah, that's right, frozen Gatorade. I went into a gas station in Blue Diamond, right near the trailhead, and they were selling this frozen Gatorade out of there. I talked to the cashier and he told me that basically if you're working on the road cruise or if you're out in the desert, you buy this frozen Gatorade in the morning, you put it in your car, and throughout the day it melts and you have nothing but constant cold Gatorade. It's a wonderful idea. It works well for mountain biking too. I bought one regular jug of Gatorade and one frozen jug of Gatorade. Put the frozen one in the car, drank a little bit of the regular Gatorade, and went out on my ride. When I got back, I had a half jug of frozen Gatorade with a lot of thawed Gatorade in there that was ice cold. Drank that down, took what was left of my first bottle, poured it over the top, that got ice cold, and for the whole rest of the trip and all the way back to my hotel, I had ice cold Gatorade. I can't say how often I've done it since then, it's a wonderful idea and I intend to do it again this year. Blue Diamond is both a trail and a town. The town of Blue Diamond is a small village and there's no real parking at the trailhead. What you can do is you can park at McGee's Bike Shop, which is in the middle of town, and then walk the two blocks or ride the two blocks on your bike to the trailhead. We didn't realize it at the time, so we went back out onto the highway and found a trailhead along the highway on 160. I couldn't really tell where I was and what kind of trails were where and so at the trailhead off 160 to the right was mostly cross country trails and that's what I rode. To the left as I understand it I could have gone under the highway and up onto something called Three Mile Smile. I've since found that that would have been a much better route, more exciting, really great views of Vegas. I intend to do that next time I'm in town. Don't get me wrong, the cross country trail was still fun. Had great views of the mountains. My wife liked walking on the trails and taking some pictures. It was really fast, fun ride, some up, some downs. All in all, it was still a great way to waste an afternoon. So if you find yourself in Vegas and you want to go for a ride, Blue Diamond is about 30 minutes to the southwest of the Strip. The trailhead's nice, it has a good parking lot, nice restrooms, but there's no water source, so bring plenty of water and or maybe, I don't know, some frozen Gatorade. Trust me, you want frozen Gatorade. I'll definitely go back to Blue Diamond. The part I rode was a cross-country trail, but as I understand it, there's a lot more that I could explore out there. I'd probably pick a cooler day to go, though, because I was really feeling it by the end.
Well, that's it. Thanks for checking out my video and riding along with me today. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. And if you subscribe and hit the little bell button, you'll be notified when I put up new videos. I try to do one a week, and I may even do more this summer as I ride more. This is the last of my desert rides for a while. Next week's video will be back into the trees and the rocks and the roots of the Midwest. Until next time, hasta la vista.